doing up part two from TNR Farms here in West Virginia. Making sorghums today. Uh, got Jerry over here feeding the mill. Cain was raised out there toward Salt Rock, West Virginia on Tony and Rhonda's farm. Jerry's been working steadily today. Been here since about 4.30 this morning. Working on the second trailer load. Good crop of cane this year. Done real good. Power in the mill for the 1951 case VAI which is owned by my wife, Cindy. Of course, you'll be watching this on YouTube, but you'll be able to enjoy more pictures and videos on the antiquetractorsforum.com and probably find some on uh, smokestack.com. Walk in the hothouse here. Straining the sorghum here. How you doing, youngin? It's Tony and Sam Woodrum. Tony from TNR Farms. There's a good view of the evaporator pan here. Got the raw sap coming in here from the press out there. A lot of people familiar with this process, some have no clue. Tony working her down there. Now there's none of you all on there that's going to know me as Tony. I'm Mayor. Yep, this is Mayor. Some know him as Mayor, some know him as Mayor Moonshine on YouTube. <laughs> Of course, we got a firebox underneath of it, burning off wood to heat the pan with. Kind of give y'all an idea of what's going on here. We've done made some samples this morning of the sorghum, and it is flat. Turned out good. I'd say this year a little bit of homemade butter and some cat head biscuits. There'd be some mighty happy folks here. What we're doing here is removing the skimmings. You'll hear people talking skimmings and molasses. What I'm using here has got holes in the bottom of it. And that little green tinge you see in there, let me get some back here so you can see what it is. All that green is called skimming, you see in the bottom of that. That has to be removed before you can cook it on down. So as it continues down through here, we keep the skimmings to the back side or we remove them all together and get them in this bucket. That's the skimming bucket. A lot of times in the old days they'd dig a hole and they'd have a skimming hole. We've got the pan almost full of green juice right now. We took several bars of molasses off, so we got to wait a little while for it to cook down. This is a real small operation. This is the old time way they used to do it. A lot of the bigger operations, they use preheating tanks, large evaporator pans, and they cook with steam. We cook it with wood, so a lot of times you'll see us rubbing our eyes because the smoke in here gets to us. This is the way that most of the old timers used to do it on the farm.
Sam's gonna check the firebox for us here. another log on the fire for us. Also sharing the evaporator pan with a big pot of pinto beans over there. <laughs> kind of keeps the grub worms from chewing on your backbone in the middle of the day. We've got Tommy sitting here. He's been operating, filling up the jars. It's Tommy Jeffrey, landowner. We're waiting on another pool. Waiting on another pool. Sitting back drinking some coffee, waiting for them to close some more sort of Then we'll get it in the jars here. I get to lick my fingers this way. Yeah, gets to lick his fingers. <laughs> See the sorghum's cooling down, dripping out of the spout there. We've all done had a sample of them this morning. Like I said earlier, with a big cat head biscuit, you can't beat it. Amen. They're really good. This is Sam's wife, Tony's mother. I just call her youngin. And mother, my mother was in the third. Like I said earlier, if you enjoy this kind of stuff, you can join in with us later on, not only on YouTube, but AntiqueTractorsForum.com and Smokestack.com. I'll have some pictures on there. I go by Case in West Virginia on uh, Antique Tractors Forum and Jim in West Virginia on Smokestack. Hope you all enjoyed this video.